first order of the day chipotle the new chipotle which is right behind me yep the new chipotle i'm gonna test it out 655 items that has hidden tip written all over 3.1 miles it, this is the first order it's been almost an hour i'm gonna jump right on that let's see what this chipotle is about it's literally look 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 no lie guys it's right there can you see it it's right there I'm so excited. I've never been so excited to have an order. Tap an order because I haven't had anything all day. It's the first one. Let's <laughs> go. At least it wasn't trash, so I'll take it. Let's go inside. First time we're going to be here. Let's, let, let's, let's check out the vibes in here. I'm a little nervous. I've never been here. <laughs> Not to this one. It smells good. Ooh, oh, God. It smells good. It smells like chicken. Woo. Let's see what they got up in here. Okay, they got shelves. Most of them do. What's that, man? Uh, Mary. Mary. Last name M I K E L, I think. What do you guys notice? Nobody is here. Middle of lunch. Like, literally, this place is. No, nobody was here. Do you guys see that? <laughs> this delivery is going to be delayed a little bit. Just did a video on five things to do to stay cool and then. I get stuck right behind i mean and literally the drop off i'm gonna show you guys it strikes straight ahead so it doesn't really serve me any purpose to go like i'd really have to go out of my way to get there um <laughs> i can't make this stuff up guys i'm literally stuck in a spot i'm just stuck i'm just stuck with this person's food held hostage um You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sit here and read Mamba Mentality. <laughs> oh, I've been out for, oh wow, how long? Have I, oh wow, I've been out for an hour and 18 minutes. I'm on a $6.50 delivery. That's all I've made today. <laughs> it's moving! It is moving, yes sir. It moved and then stopped again. <laughs> it's literally on, oh, it's moving! It's moving! It's moving! It's literally on the other side, so I can't go. I, I'm just going to be patient. I hope I don't get deactivated for a late delivery. At this point, let's see. How many minutes am I behind? I'm only, I'm right now, I'm three. Oh, no. Oh, I'm, I'm five minutes late at this point. I think I'm going to be okay. I hope I don't get deactivated. You can only relate if you do gig work. <laughs> yes sir it's happening it's happening yay <laughs> oh man that was hilarious I'm going to be coming up on two hours and I'm going to make six dollars and fifty cents okay. just had something happen that's never happened before but I did have a subscriber tell me it happened to them and it just happened now that was a hand to customer, so I didn't show you the drop off. But let me, let me, okay, let me, what are we doing here? Let me complete this delivery. I'm gonna show you guys what happened. Confirm completion. As soon as I pulled in the parking lot, okay, so that one wound up being $7.91. As soon as I pulled into a parking lot, they stacked it. How are you gonna give me an order like before I'm even done with one? Oh, now they're stacking the stack. What is happening? Six dollars. I'm taking it. Six dollars for one point five. So the first they stacked it seven eighty five, and it was going like five miles. I said, yeah, it's fine because it's in it's in my area. But this that what is this? What's going on? I've never gotten a stack right when I'm about to deliver the food. Never. And I'm at thirty like five hundred deliveries, guys. Um, strange. And you know what? When they give you a stack, they pay you less in base pay. 
pay Wu Sa for a second. They pay you less than base pay. I've talked about this a thousand times. A thousand times. So because they didn't give that order to somebody else or they wouldn't just wait a second to give it to me, I'm going to make less money. Wow. So I'm going to show you what the base pay is on this one after we pick it up and drop it off. But <laughs> what a day. All right, guys. DoorDash is going to do everything they can to save money. Every little penny, every morsel. I mean, the algorithm gave me an order, a stack, add to route, when I was getting ready to drop an order off. I've only seen them do that, like they'll stack it together, or maybe they'll stack it like before I pick the food up, you know? But like never when I've had an order and I'm getting ready to drop it off and I've literally had the order for 20 minutes and then they stack it. Makes no sense. But they save money on the stacks. So instead of paying me $2.25 in base pay, what is this one gonna be? Two bucks, dollar twenty-five, a dollar? Is it gonna be twenty-five cents? I don't know, but let's find out. All right, guys, we got two. Let's see what we get here. I'm okay. All right, guys, this way. Let's see if these orders are on the thing. Both orders were sitting right there, right by each other. Can't get better than that. Let's go drop them off. Our first drop off is, it's probably gonna be about three miles. Oh, oh, 1.8 miles. Let's go. That was really cute because I pulled up and I saw the lady come out and she like looked. She must have been track tracking my GPS, and then like she went back inside and then like I put the food. It was kind of funny. All right, so this one, I believe was the first one. I want to see what the base pay is on this, and I'm gonna drop off the second one. Confirm. I want to look and then I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, so base pay was still three fifty. Why is it that much? It wasn't. It was more than five miles combined. I don't know, it's hard to tell with DoorDash, man. That's a good order all in all. Then this one is a $6 stacked uh, that we accepted right after I delivered the first one, or the, the first order of the day. So this one is two miles away. Let's go drop it off. So all in all, it's odd. I've never seen a stack show up that late in a route, but good delivery, I'll take it. And then they stacked it with a good one. So we're gonna wind up making at least 13 and some change or 14 bucks, whatever, for, I don't know, 20 minutes worth of work. I'll do that all day. Kind of helps with the first one that was took so long because of the train tracks. But at the end of the day, it's fine, man. It's all good. We gonna make some money. We gonna do what we can do. We gonna stay positive through it all. Uh, yeah, let's go drop it off. one it is there's two of these there's no a there's no b Let's figure it out all right let's confirm so the first one was 350 base pay right this one was stacked, but the mileage was more. And the base pay was less. $2 base pay, but ooh, $10 tip, $12. Six to 12, hello, sir. Base pay was less with this one, but I actually, technically, I had to drive more miles. Tell me how that makes sense. Base pay was less, $1.50 less. Same merchant had to drive more miles, but the base pay was less. But the tip was 
significant. I'm not taking that 550 for eight miles. Tell me how, what's the logic behind that, guys? What's the logic behind that? Base pay was a dollar fifty less, but I had to drive more miles. But the tip was really good, so I'm not, you know, it is what it is. The order was fantastic. I mean, we made twelve, we made almost twenty dollars on that stacked order. I mean, fantastic. We're at twenty-seven seventy-six. I'll take it. But where is the logic behind that? The base pay model they sent us with shorter distances, this base pay, longer distances, this base pay, they, it doesn't match up. It doesn't match up. Very strange to me. 525, seven miles, I'm not taking that. But uh, anyways, overall, I'm not complaining. I'm just asking questions for you guys. Like, where is, the math doesn't add up with some of these orders, guys. It just doesn't. Uh, all right, so actually those three orders combined for the amount of time I spent are an A. I give it an A, it's fine. It's all good. Let's go on to the fourth order of the day. All right, guys, we got a 795 for 5.8 miles. Dairy Queen's right in front of me. I might take this. It's, the drop-off is Brentwood. I'm just going to jump on it because they could stack it. It's not busy today. I'm going to make what I can and not waste my time because I value time. Um, I woke up. I had 100 miles in the gas tank. And I said, ooh, 100 miles. Like, let me see what I can make with 100 miles. And that's just what I'm going to do today, okay? Um, today has not been busy. I talk about adapting strategies and stuff. I'm super close to the Dairy Queen, so hopefully they stack it with one that's a drop-off that's on the way or right around that area. Um, oh, you didn't confirm? What? Oh, hold on. I just, I accepted that. What's going on here? Oh, what? What? I guess I didn't hit the button. What? I thought I hit the button. Oh, Lord. What, what, did it, what, what did it send me? It sent me a, you didn't confirm this delivery. What? I removed it from your app. Oh, I did confirm it. Oh, maybe I, I guess I didn't. That could be on me. I thought I hit accept. I was pretty sure I hit accept on that. And I'm at the Dairy Queen with no delivery to pick up. <laughs> Let's just sit here for a minute and, and reflect on what just happened. I'm pretty sure I hit accept, but here's another one anyway. Walmart. Oh, Walmart makes an appearance. What did I say, guys? Oh, man. I said I was never going to Walmart again. $13.50 for seven miles. This is one where they load your car, I think. 38 items. This is a DoorDash drive grocery order. Uh, Walmart will not release goods to dashers with young children in the car. Ooh, you cannot be left unattended. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Walmart also requires a clean, odor, and animal-free area. Well, I'm not going to take it because I'm not going to Walmart. I'm going to practice what I preach. But uh, that wasn't a bad offer. So for you guys that are in St. Louis specifically, the Walmart orders have been getting better. That's good. But I'm not going to Walmart. It is what it is. And I never heard that. Got to be odor free. No dogs. It's probably been that way, but I've never noticed that before. So who knows if they really follow those rules. But let's see what we can get. I'm, at, I'm right at Dairy Queen. Maybe they give me one for here. I got a lot of merchants behind me. Oh, now it's going off. Oh Lord, look at this one. What? 350 contains alcohol. Look at the miles though. It's only four miles, but that seems, no, that's not right because that drop off is, I'm not taking it. I'm not gonna take it because the miles to money is not good. Um, I don't mind the 7-Eleven alcohol, but I'll show you guys the next good one. Let's not make this about the Kobe's. That was a Kobe for me, but cause I'm sure that was all base pay. Well, let's see what we get next. So I just remembered something. This Eichelberger in Hampton, where this Dairy Queen is, is like a dead spot for my zone. I am pretty sure I accepted that order, but I think it got lost in the matrix there. So I'm gonna move away from here because even now I just denied some and see that? This is a dead zone for my phone. So I'm gonna drive away from it. We tried to send you a delivery. Yeah, this that's what happened with that one. So uh, I'm gonna resume my dash and I'm gonna go in a spot where it's not dead. Now it's going off. We got a little bit of area. Okay. Oh, wow. Eight bucks, but 8.6 miles. Hold up, though. This is a highway. Yeah, that's a lot of highway miles. There's a highway about a mile, 1.5 miles up that way, maybe two miles. This is going to downtown, though, isn't it? I might, I might just take it, though. I'm, the Penn Station's, I'm in the parking lot. No, the Penn Station's right there. I'm sorry. 14 seconds. Mm, nah, because I can do better than that. I can do better than that. I can do better than that. I almost took it. 
not a that's not a horrible order only because it could stack it and it's highway miles and those are better than city miles but i could do better than that it's 1239 let's see if i made the right decision okay so 25 cents less which 25 cents is whatever that doesn't sway me either way so that's the identical order firehouse subs closer merchant i'm actually in the parking lot that one's behind me less miles 5.2 taking me south taking it all day so i made the right decision let's go pick it up i'm going to keep you in the car with me as we drive here i'm going to show you this is exactly where i was at yeah i'm 600 feet away so we're making we're making uh 25 cents less but it could be stacked though, or it could be hidden tip could be stacked as well 25 cents less but we're driving basically three miles less and the drop-off spot leaves me south which is as if anybody watches this channel knows i like to be in that area not that north isn't bad and not that north isn't where i am sometimes but i just like to be south for lunch it just it's a desirable area for me um i'm in the parking lot I'm taking you guys with me so i made the right decision all day long oh lord you know how people sometimes walk and they they're on their phone and like they don't have a head on a swivel and they just act like there's nobody else around them it's fine i'm paying attention my head's on the swivel so the firehouse subs is right we're getting ready to pull up right now so that was maybe i don't know 30 seconds let's pull up let's pick up this food this is a good merchant they're always super quick i'll park right here this one side. so this isn't great miles to money but i had a lot of dead time today as you guys saw so i need to make money i want to keep moving and grooving I gave myself those 100 miles to use today or whatever, so that's fine. I'm going to use it and make as much as I can while I can. Order was ready. I said, who you got? I said, I got this guy. He goes, I got it right here. I haven't confirmed pickup yet, only for this reason. I've done this a few times. I've tested it. I'll confirm pickup as soon as I hit keys in the ignition. This is why. They can still stack it. They might still stack it. So I give them an extra 30 seconds, right? And maybe they'll stack it. And if they don't, I'll confirm it now, no big deal. But best case scenario, maybe they stack it with another one here, a couple minute wait, maybe they stack it with Noodles Co. right here, a couple minutes, no problem, I add to my delivery route. Doesn't look like that's gonna happen though. Let's just confirm pickup, let's go drop it off. So we're 12 minutes away, which is fine. So basically 15 Head minutes combined Avenue. to make the $7.75. 400 feet, turn left onto Hampton Avenue. I'll take it. Came to me, but says, please put all deliveries on back porch. So let's see. Back porch. Okay. I'm not going through there. Back porch. Yeah, the delivery? Thank you. Cool. How are you? Did the right thing. She was there waiting. Strawed her a little bit, but it's all good. Let's go on to the next one. But first, let's see if we got anything. Was it 775? It was. 775. I'll take, I'll take. So two, base pay 275. That's gotta be for the mileage. $5 tip. I'll, I'll deliver somebody to give me a $5 tip all day. We're at 35 bucks. We actually had a good hour there. We actually had that last hour was good. We made some money there. Let's uh, technically, I'm out of the zone, but I'm very close to my zone. Like this is technically Melville, but I'm like, I don't know, maybe a mile and a half out. No big deal. I knew that going off based on the drop off. So I'm not mad about it. Let's go on. All right, we got a really good one and you can get orders depending on your market. If you're out of your zone. You guys saw I'm out of my zone. I'm still out of my zone but they sent me an $8 offer and I was getting ready to go drive. The cutoff zone from Melville to Webster Groves is this where this Quidoba is. It's in this little parking lot, I'm there often. Eight bucks and it's going a little bit west south or a little bit west, but it's that's in my zone. All day long, I'll take that eight for 5.5, but I had to drive this mile and a half 
any way to get to where I wanted to be. So really, I'm only adding four miles, okay? You guys following me? I was gonna go there anyway. I had to go there anyway if I'm gonna continue to dash. So really, in reality, for my actual gas tank, this is a four mile trip for the eight bucks, $2 per mile. Could stack it because there's a China King there, a little Caesars there, they could stack it with another Guadoba. This is a good order, let's go get it. We're on a roll now, guys, all right. Be patient. I just did a video today. I filmed it talking about five things that you can do when it's slow and to keep you motivated. <laughs> that video will be out, I think, tomorrow. I don't know. Anyways, this video will come out in a couple days, but these are real life situations, guys. And I'll show you. This is real, real, real in the moment. And I practice what I preach. Dog. <laughs> cool. What? All right, easy drop off. Let's complete delivery. Well, it was eight bucks, right? I'm sure. I think it's gonna stay at eight bucks, based on the order size. It should stay at eight. Yep. Three dollar base pay. So paying a little bit more for the miles, I guess, and then five dollar tip, and then we get this guy. This is a growing trend I'm noticing. I wanna talk about this for a minute. I don't have any evidence yet. I have opinions and people send me things, but I don't have evidence. And if I get it, I'll share it. This is my opinion. I do business, a lot of business with Papa John's and local spots. Look at this, six items from Papa John's. And that could be the garlic butter and this and that. It could be six pizzas. I don't know, but $2.50, I think, I'm not gonna take this, but this is my opinion and the opinion of others. I think some of these pizza places, Papa John, St. Louis Pizza and Wings, some places that have delivery drivers on staff, when they are short staffed or overwhelmed with orders, whatever, they will use the DoorDash app. And I know this to be true. They'll use the app to offload deliveries. Smart, that's what I would do if I worked there. If I manage that place, that's what I'd have to do to fill my orders, to make sure I'm getting my revenue taking this one I'm gonna pull over but in the case that they are doing that there are orders that come through on the app or to get phoned in that they have to give to us they have to give to Pedro right if there's a tip on those orders and it's a good one I think sometimes they're keeping that tip what I'm saying now isn't shocking news okay but and sometimes depending on who's dispatching the orders whether it's a manager or an employee or this employee and that employee Sometimes they will give the tip to us because I've done business with them. And other times, I think they're not. That's a problem for me. If I'm right, that's a problem. But I don't know how to prove that. I don't know how we manage that. It is what it is. I'm getting a lot of Dairy Queens right now, but they're all trash. That's just my opinion. Let's stop ranting. Let me know if you think that's happened to you. I see it. I see it. All right, so basically I made the first two hours I was out, I averaged basically like about $3. Because the time I was out and I didn't get anything and then I got that Chipotle and it was six fifty. First two hours was basically about like three bucks, which is really bad. And then the next hour I made like 30 bucks. I mean, we're at forty three fifty right now. So from $3 an hour to 30 bucks an hour, what are we talking about guys? Be patient stay motivated relax read a book call a friend have a snack get out the car walk around remind yourself why are you doing gig work don't get too low when it's low and also then don't get too high when it's high because it's not always going to be 30 40 50 bucks you're going to make an hour but it's always but it's also not going to be three dollars that you make an hour or zero dollars the first hour i was out i made nothing there was nothing to be made be patient, keep your eyes on the prize. Keep your eyes on the prize. The law of averages will usually work its way out. All right, guys, this channel's changing. Pedro DoorDash Santiago's ain't going anywhere, but what do we do with the DoorDash in the middle? Do we keep it? Do we change it? As, as I evolve, as the channel evolves, as gig life evolves, throw out a couple at you guys. If you made it this far in the video, comment below your thoughts. 
the man of the people. I want you want to get your guys' opinion. And at the end of the day, I'm still going to make a decision if I do to even decide to change the name. But I value people's opinions. So I've been thinking: Is the channel going to be Mr. Bet on You? I kind of like that, Mr. Bet on You. Is it going to be Mamba Gig? Black Mamba, Kobe Bryant, Mamba Gig, the Mamba of Gig. I don't know, it's kind of chill. Is it gonna be some people? Somebody, some some people say Jesus, Pedro, the, the Jesus of DoorDash. Like you know, I don't know about that one, but I've gotten that from many people actually. So I'll throw that one in there just because the people seem to like that. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Give me some suggestions. I'm open to suggestions. All right, we just got, oh, 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 I know. $7 order, like four miles, Raising Cane's. I'm taking it, six items. <clears throat> you gotta order or use a red card. They're really quick. It's not busy now. It shouldn't be busy there. Let's go pick it up. I can only go today till about three, because I'm gonna go uh, hang out with my nephew and my pops and hang out with them for about a couple hours. And then I might hit the nighttime shift, but work-life balance is super important to me. I value my time. So after we complete this order, we'll be at basically 50 bucks. So not great, but not bad considering where we started. Let's go pick it up. All right, guys, sometimes I will take orders <clears throat> that I know that they, the likelihood of it being stacked is high, the probability is high. Even if the miles are a little bit more and the money's not perfect, it's not the perfect order, this is what can happen. You can get a Panda Express is right next to Raisin Cane's, five bucks for one mile, yeah, I'm gonna take that. So now we turn a $7 offer into a $12 offer for only one more mile. You guys catch my drift? That, and both merchants are good merchants. I can rely on them, it's fine. So uh, let's go pick both of these up. Paige, you want to check in? Hi, um, can I get two sides of Texas toast? Two sides? Three sides of cane sauce. And one box combo, no slaw extra bread with a, with a Fanta as a drink. Okay, I have your number for two toasts, three cane sauce, a box, no slaw free toast with the orange Fanta. Yes, please. Anything else? That's it. Okay, 11.72. All right, we just left that drive through and we make a left onto the road, and right here we're at Panda Express. Call me drive through Pedro. True drive throughs that was a super quick order. You guys saw me, I did it in real time, like very fast. Now, if it's 11.45, 12 o'clock, 12.30, I might not take that. Maybe because that they're like super busy at that time, but because of the time of the day it is, I'm gonna hop on that. And then we're here, Panda Express has a little bit of a line. Looks like there's one, two, three, probably seven cars. <laughs> And this is a stacked one. This is DoorDash being cheap, but you know, sometimes it works out. I should be on my way maybe to drop this one off, but this customer has to sacrifice a little bit of time because we all know why. So uh, let's wait patiently. <laughs> the lobby's open now. So yes, sir, I'm using the lobby. I haven't been here since they reopened it. So yeah, I'm gonna do that all day long. I'm not waiting. What, what? I just saw a lady get out. Maybe it's just that door. Okay. What's going on here? Nope, it is closed. How, why are people inside? Am I tripping? Let me try it one more time. Oh, the gig life, the gig life. Door's closed, right? Yeah, I don't know what's going on with these merchants. I just saw people walk out of there. Who knows? Let's get back in line. Alrighty. Yeah, Desimel or something like that. Yeah. Thanks, man. Have a good one. Appreciate you. All right, guys, so from when we took that first order, it's been two hours and like 2.1 hours. 
we're at 55, 51. So I'll, considering where we started, I'm gonna take that all day. 20, uh, yeah, 2750 an hour. I'll take that on a Tuesday when we started off crazy. Three dollars the first, basically three dollars an hour to like thirty-five dollars, forty dollars an hour to, to balance it out. Uh, I'm gonna back out of here. I'm gonna I'm gonna end my dash. I might come out later, but listen, bet on you sickles one day at a time. The highs, the lows, all the stuff we talked about. You guys are amazing. Be patient. Be patient. Put that picture right here. Put it somewhere in your car. Why are you doing gig work to remind you that when it gets low? Remind yourself why you're out here and you're hustling. Deuces. I'll see you guys mañana.